Hi everyone, welcome in to Primetime TV Show. I'm one of your hosts, Barbara Marvel Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, my co-host, Dennis Kelly. Hey, we're back again. We're back again. They're back. They're back, <laughs> exactly. You know, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our Primetime TV Show and how it was born, why it was born, which was, do you know that we're almost celebrating our very first show? Is that right? Two years. Boy, time goes by fast when you get older. I tell you, well, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, one of the reasons why we call it prime time is not only are we giving it our prime time, because anytime we spend time and, and spend the effort to share things that we've learned in our life experience in our prime time, they kind of go hand in hand, don't you think? Well, we just wanted to just go back and reiterate what we've been doing for the last couple of years and where we're going. And we're going to be changing some things up on our primetime TV show. We're going to have a few more guests and uh, really changing it up to where you can benefit even more, where we're going to fill lots of knowledge, lots of education, and we're hoping that you've been enjoying it so far. Obviously, you have been or you wouldn't be with us today. But honestly, it's about how we're spending our time in primetime. I mean, at this time of our life, we're enjoying probably more than we ever have with our family, with what we're doing here, having our own show at Tampa Bay Multimedia. And remember, you can re-watch the show at WeBeamTV.com because we archive the shows. Well, I want to go ahead and mention some of the things that have kept us going in our prime time. And I know my husband will chime in because he is a world-renowned anti-aging expert and we really need to have our youth with us as long as we possibly can. So we're going to kind of give you some of those tips on what we've been doing over the years. One of them is huge, and that is the exercises that we do. In addition to, of course, my husband does full workouts every single day, plus teaches Tai Chi and Qi Kung, plus certifies professional instructors in Tai Chi, Qi Kung. And I'm going to kind of turn it over to you to give a little bit of history in this first section because you've been in your prime time longer than me. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. I'm just Run saying. In. So I learn from you what I need to do in my prime time because look at you. You're a perfect example in spite of some of the challenges that you uh, had to face a few years ago. But, I mean, what got you on this quest? Well, I think the main thing is I lost my father when he was 53 years old of a massive coronary. And at that time, about two weeks before he passed away, I went and had a checkup at the doctor's office. I was about 25, 30 pounds overweight, had high blood pressure, high cholesterol. The doctor said that I was a good candidate for a heart attack and especially, you know, knowing my condition. So I decided to do something about it because I was making a lot of money at the time, but I wasn't very healthy. So what I did is I, there wasn't a health club nearby. There was a Taekwondo school. And I was always fascinated by the Bruce Lee movies and Taekwondo and, and karate and all those arts and the martial arts. So I joined a martial arts school, a Taekwondo school. It was only about two blocks from where I was staying at the time. And that really changed my life dramatically. I was, went from 210 pounds to 160-some pounds in a matter of just a couple months. And it really made a big difference in my life and my business and everything else. So that's actually how I got started. It was by desperation rather than inspiration. <coughs> so you took a negative and turned it into a positive yeah, negative. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to die, you know. Yeah. And now my blood pressure is that of a teenager. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And without sight of having recovering from Parkinson's disease, everything is working fine. I want to ask you something about her uh, inheriting or hereditary things that I think you have a different spin on that when you're told by your physician or, you, or someone says, you know, oh, that's hereditary, you're probably going to inherit that for the rest of your life. I think you have a different spin on that based on the fact that you did turn things around. I mean, you lost your dad at what age? 53. At age 53. So, I mean, and you're going to be 78 the end of this month. So I think you did. T I mean, you've outlived your dad's life. Do you, you obviously looked at some of the biomarkers of your father and decided you're going to change that. 
you're going to change some of those things that could have become hereditary. Am I right about that? Yeah, you can. Uh, the, they call it in, in <clears throat> China, they call it prenatal qi. And your prenatal qi is the qi that you inherit from your parents. If their qi is weak and their prenatal qi, then your qi is weak. And until just within the last 20, 30 years, it was thought nothing could be done about it. But we've proven, those of us that are into super exercise and health and fitness, have proven that you can alter the qi. You can actually alter your DNA through your, your power of imagination, through superfoods. They have these new foods out called superfoods that have everything in it that you need. You'd have to eat 5,000 calories worth of food, different vegetables and fruits, to equal one scoop of the superfood. So that along with the mental attitude that the genes can be changed. Because according to my parents, I should have been dead 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, if I would have lived the same type of life. A lot of it is in your environment, too. It's not just your attitude and the good supplements and so on. It's creating that environment, having good friends that don't create stress for you, having people that you deal with that are not stress-inducing, uh, stress so to speak. I pick people that are stress-reducing in rather than inducing, so to speak. You know, there's a lot to be said for that, too, because stress is the number one cause that leads us to, in many cases, premature death, but so many diseases because of not being able to handle stress. And I, I mean, I'm just as guilty as the next person from years ago. I handle it a whole lot differently now because I think, well, you know what? As long as we're doing the best we can with what we have to work with and we turn so many things over to the higher powers that be, what is there to stress about? When you're living in gratitude, when you're living in appreciation, we have so much to be thankful for, but those stressors do crop up from time to time. They do. So stress, the key thing is there's a certain kind of stress that's good stress. They call it EU stress, E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S. -S -S. U stress is a stress, the thrill of winning, reading a, reading a book, studying to pass a test or whatever. Those stresses are, are very productive over a period of time. But what the kind of stress that does the damaging is cortisol. Cortisol is the death hormone. We need cortisol in our system. But every day, because of excessive cortisol flowing into the body, it's like acid dripping into the body. It ages, prematurely ages us. Almost every disease known to man has a good start as a result of cortisol. It weakens the body. It tears apart with our attitude and everything. And the, the funny thing is, the hormone, the best hormone for our health is DHEA, dehydroepidermic drastum sulfate. That is known as the youth hormone. Well, it's created by the same gland. So if your cortisol is high, then your DHEA is low. So your renew, your uh, renewal, what am I trying to say? Your immune system, that's the word I want. Your immune system is, is actually weakened and, and the, the good hormones are actually non-existent, so you're more susceptible to disease. So you want to be able to keep the DHEA high and the cortisol low. You don't want to try to eliminate cortisol because cortisol is good for competition, for energy and things like that, but the everyday dripping of stress that we don't control, that we get involved in things that really are not in our liking to be able to handle. So that's why it's so good to be able to have a, a life that where you not avoid stress, but be able to handle stress and avoid the stresses that are not necessary. You have a really good definition on stress. Can you share that with us? Yeah, the best I've heard is from HeartMath Institute where I certified as a life coach. When our perception of life's events do not meet up with our expectations and we fail to, to measure the results or fail to get results, when our perception of life's events do not meet up with our expectations and we fail to manage the results. That is, to me, one of the best explanations of stress. It's an inside job because, well, two people can be on Space Mountain. One person is petrified about roller coasters. The other person loves roller coasters. I'd be the one petrified. <laughs> and the one petrified is producing interleucin-6, which is sort of like cortisol. It's a death hormone. The person that loves the roller coaster they produce interleukin-2, and that's nature's greatest cancer-fighting hormone. It costs about $40,000 to create a drop of interleukin-2 in the laboratory. 
I could listen to you all day long, and we've been together over 20 years now, and I'm always learning something from my husband because he's always learning, always growing, and always staying on the edge, the cutting edge of what's happening out there. But the one thing that really does stay and remain the same is we must know how to deal with stresses. And that's one of the things that we wanted to talk about in this show because we have a really great certification coming up that we'll talk about in a little bit, probably after the break. But the one thing that led us up to this, and I started actually doing some of these exercises that I noticed that began to reduce my stress. Because when you let the stresses get to you, it affects you in your personal life, it affects you with your friendships, it affects you in your business, it affects your productivity. I know it does with me. I would be the first one to admit that, yeah, I've had my little mini meltdowns here and there, but you know what, I think the key is for us not to stay there. Because I remember one of the things, one of the key elements that my husband said to me many, many years ago was one angry thought or one piece of information that you just can't get out of your head that lasts for five minutes or more that you dump between, what, six and seven hours of really negative, bad chemicals into the system for only one five-minute segment of being angry and upset and not being able to, to really get yourself calmed down. That is what affected my life forever. And now I automatically think, okay, if something's bothering me or whatever, I immediately try not to go past the two minutes. The two-minute rule is you're okay. It's when we go past the five minutes that it starts putting all that nasty stuff into the system, and, it, and it's hard to reverse, and you figure how many five minutes in a day can something upset us? Just driving on US-19 can be enough to get us upset, or somebody screaming at you in your face or giving you hand signals when you're driving up and, up and down US-19. You know, people are really doing the best they can with what they have to work with. And I like to think that we're working with a program that really and truly does help people reduce their stress level, stay under that two-minute rule, don't go into the five minutes several times a day because, man, you are really ramping it up to a high stress level, right? Absolutely. Well, I got a challenge for you all out there in the world outside of us here in our world. What you do is get a rubber band, put it around you, get one that you can, it's thick enough where you can feel a pop. And every time that you have a negative thought or worry or anything in the negative area of, for example, sadness, being sad, feeling sorry for yourself, you got two minutes to replace it with a caring, loving thought. So the thing is, when you got the negative thought, pop the rubber band. That'll take it from your right brain to your left brain. In other words, you'll get out of that emotional state for just a split second. Then at that point, you change that thought with a positive thought. Have that prearranged, like take a time in your life that when you think about it, you really feel good about yourself or you feel good. It's some exciting time in your life. Anytime you think about it, it makes you feel good. So instead of dwelling on the angry thought or the worry thought or whatever, you pop the rubber band, you got two minutes to replace that angry thought or worry thought with a caring, loving thought. If you go past the two minutes, if you go past the two minutes, then you got to start all over again. So the key, the challenge, I have a challenge for you. Get the rubber band. You go seven days without going past two minutes. Your life will never be the same. And it's For true. the first time in your life, you'll have complete control. And believe me when I tell you, most people are not controlled by their own self. They're controlled by other circumstances and people. One of the greatest satisfactions in the world is satisfaction of gratitude that you're in control of your life and when you control your mind you control your life so remember now you got seven days you go past say three four days and you get a negative thought it goes past two two minutes then you start all over from day one you keep doing that you may start off two or three times keep doing it till you make it the seven days and you'll get it you definitely will and on that note we'll go over this again and remind you but we're taking a break right now all right stick around we'll be right back this is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental. Providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start. 
for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term. Long term. Your terms. Apply online at norcommortgage.com. That loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. back here on Primetime TV Show. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly. With me is Dennis Kelly, and we are talking about the ravaging effects of stress. I know you don't want to hear it. It's not a fun thing to talk about, and we do this at the very least once to twice a month because it's everywhere. It's affecting the entire world, and we truly feel that we have a lot of the answers that can help you because we've helped a lot, a lot, a lot of people. When you make the commitment and you're just done with all the stress, something else that we're going to be talking about is the balance of exercise. Speaking of which, I was at the gym at 5 o'clock this morning. I did five miles on the bike. Felt pretty good. I could breathe pretty good after that, too. <laughs> so I I'm surprised you could breathe at all. I know. The last miles. time I was there at 5 o'clock in the morning, was doing I was doing a boot camp, and... This was a few years back, and I came home and threw myself on the floor in the kitchen, I, and he's standing there laughing at me, going, you'll be fine. I felt like such a wussy anyway. So we're going to talk about the balance of exercise, because you know it's not my favorite thing to do. Get me out on the dance floor, and I will drop inches. I firm up and not just... In fact, Dr. Wynn said, doctor's orders, get back on the dance floor. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. But what's the big deal with, about balancing exercise with the Tai Chi and Qigong? And just talk about that. Well, a lot of people don't realize <clears throat> that there's soft exercise and hard exercise. And there's like the female, the male, the yin and the yang, as they call it in China. It's having that balance. People that do aerobics or taekwondo, karate, for many years, if they don't have soft exercise, like meditation, and the one I'm really talking about is meditation and motion, Qigong. 
then they don't have the balance. Most of my friends that I competed with in the 70s and 80s all have had hip replacements, knee replacements. It's incredible. And I told them years ago, I happened to be very fortunate to have a grandmaster that did both, the soft and the hard. He said, if you ever want to be a world champion, if you ever want to really remain healthy, like he was at 65 years of age, he beat all of us. I mean, we, we couldn't even come close to beating this man. And we were 20, 30, 40 years younger than him, so, you know, in, in the class. And so he was the one that steered me to go towards the soft and the hard exercise. Soft, of course, being Qigong and Tai Chi. The hard being Taekwondo, Karate, Kung Fu, and exercises like that. Now, if you're not in the martial arts, then you would call the hard exercise like going to the gym and doing the, the stationary bike, jogging, things like that. Those are hard exercises, and they're important. They keep the cardiovascular system high. They actually help the digest food as you're getting older. <coughs> There's a thing called peristalsis, which means that we can't get the food through our system. So there's so many different reasons for being able to have that balance of the hard and the soft. When I chose to get involved in that, I wanted to be just like my master instructor. When I turned 65, I wanted to have that kind of health. I wanted to have that kind of fitness. I wanted to have that kind of control of my life as he did. So as a result, I studied under him. And then after I moved away from the area, my studies continued. And it, 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 I come to the conclusion, and it helped me win many world titles. It also helped me age properly and better than most people <coughs> age. Even in spite of the Parkinson's disease, I'm able to do things that most people at 78 years of age can't do. And that's because I understand that. Again, like I mentioned, most of my friends and, and buddies that I competed with, they're having all sorts of physical problems because they don't have that balance. And the best exercise in the world, if you're going to pick an exercise, wouldn't it make sense to pick one or the best one that would reduce stress? Because stress is the number one killer. So with the soft style, the Qigong and Tai Chi, you're not only reducing stress, but you're actually putting good hormones in the body, like norepinephrine, serotonin, dopamine, atrial peptide. These are all good hormones. They're good healing hormones. And the Tai Chi and Qigong are become it becomes a way of life gives you that balance for example if you're 35 years of age and you don't exercise till you're 60 you lose 50 percent of your physical ability and a lot of that is the mental ability too if you're 35 years of age and you exercise three times a week just regular exercise i'm not talking about well balanced exercise if you are 35 and you do a three times a week go to the gym and exercise for 30 minutes to an hour then you only lose 0.5%. So when, by the time you turn 65, you've only lost 0.5% rather than, than actually 50%. Actually, you lost 12.5%. So anyway, that's part of the reason having that good balance. Well, you know, balance is, I mean, you need to have balance. <laughs> it's the balance, well, I'm a Libra, so I'm always trying to balance and juggle the scales. That's why I get on my nerves so often because sometimes it's a challenge. But when it comes to balancing your exercise, <coughs> excuse me, I get that. I get that because if I'm doing a, a hard exercise and then I do a cool down with the Tai Chi and Qi Kong, it's just it just feels so good and it feels very very relaxing. And this is an ancient art that we've adapted as part of our coaching program. Um, with my husband's book, The Six Steps to the Fountain of Youth, he has his whole program in there called Trineurogenics, which is the balance of the mind, the body, and the spirit. Using the, the, the mind as the map, the body as a vehicle, and the spirit as a fuel. And it really works when you understand that whole concept. It really is the perfect synergy for the body, for the human body. And that's why I love our program, because when it's done and it's done correctly, it just makes a big difference and you feel so good about yourself when you start working out, when you do your meditation prayer, when you do all these things and they just you just start seeing the results. Now I know we have a break coming up, but um, when we come back from the break, we're going to be talking about a certification event that we have coming up next weekend, the 19th and the 20th, because this system that my husband has developed and Americanized the whole Tai Chi concept and the Qigong concept. Being a certified personal trainer and certified HeartMath Life Coach, he's taken all of this 
and just put this whole program together that really does work for people so well that we now have professional certified instructors, professional certified master trainers that are also qualified to go out and certify others. And it's actually a, a living for them. They're able to make a living, but they're also helping people get healthy, develop a better sense of focus, concentration, and balance. All the things that have affected our lives and that we want to give back. And so that's going to be coming up. And you look like you want to say something. Yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to add to the fact I mentioned that after... <clears throat> Exercise, if you're 35 and you exercise three times a week, just normal <laughs> exercise, when you turn 60, 65 years of age, you've only lost 12.5%. However, however, if you balance the exercise with the hard, with the soft, and do, do Qigong and Tai Chi, along with some aerobic movements and things of that nature, then when you turn 60, 65 years of age, let's say 65, you're in better shape than most 25-year-olds, with the exception if they're Olympic athlete. At 65 years of age, you can be stronger, healthier than the average 25-year-old. We're talking about internal strength mainly rather than external strength, which is much stronger and much more instrumental in helping us develop good health through good focus and concentration. You are so right about that. And I learned that last year when I was asked to dance with the local stars, not once, but twice. And I really feel that if I hadn't followed your program all these years, I, I wouldn't have been able to do that. That takes a lot of stamina. Stamina, as you know, after owning seven dance schools at one point in time and knowing what it takes to get out on the dance floor. I mean, you've got to have your cardio, and you've got, you've got to have balance, obviously, right? Right. And if you're to take one particular, <coughs> which exercise would be the best to live longer and healthier? If you had to pick either the hard or the soft, there would be no question about it. All the experts would agree with me that Qigong and Tai Chi would be the best exercise for living longer, more so than any hard stuff. Absolutely. And it's easy to do. Absolutely. That's what I love about it. It's very easy. We even have our little grandson, J.D. He's learning the opening and closing of Qigong. And, he, of course, he doesn't have the, that attention span long enough, so he goes like this and he's done with it. But you know what? We're instilling that in him because... That's a way for us to take time, still, take time to breathe and breathe properly. We're going to talk about that right after the break and do the belly breathing, right? And you know, I'm noticing that there's more people actually talking about that as they're out networking among business groups and everything because we need to know how to breathe properly. How you breathe in many ways is more important than when we eat, what and when we eat. Than, than if you were to take any other form of exercise or any form of food. How you breathe, I tell all my students, breathe deeply everywhere you go. Oxygen is the best food you'll ever get. Oh boy, isn't that the truth? And that goes without saying. It really is the truth, and it does work, and it, it just helps your insides. And also, our posture is also important because when we have better posture, we can breathe better, we can get more oxygen to the cells, and we know that oxygen is healing to the cells. Well, when you breathe deeply, you release a gas called nitric oxide. That's nature's greatest anti-aging gas. And it comes from the upper phalanges of the nose and certain internal organs. And that, that gas in itself, by breathing deeply, dilates all the vessels, helps prevent heart attack, it helps improve every form of your life. So it's not just the oxygen, it's the nitric oxide that gets into our system. Absolutely. It's time for a break already. Wow, that goes fast. I know, and we're going to go ahead and do that, take a little break, and we'll be right back after this. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. 
Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term. Long term. Your terms. Apply online at norcommortgage.com. That loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Back again, primetime TV show, Barbara Marville Kelly. With me is Dennis Kelly, my partner in crime. Not really. <laughs> but my partner for life, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And we're having fun. We had a good time Saturday. I want to shout out to Helena, I call her Tinkerbella, and Sharon, and Mary Lou, and Joe, and 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 Bill Kissler, we had a blast Saturday night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that was a great Saturday time. Night. Yeah, we even got to dance a little bit. I know. Well, there was hardly any room in the dance floor, but <laughs> it was fun. It was good, and you got to do that. You've got to do some fun things for yourself because for the first two segments, we've been talking about stress, and it does get boring after a while. But you know what? As long as you can talk about it, and you have a few solutions. By the way, if you go to dennis-kelly.com. You can read even more in-depth information on the Tai Chi and the Qi Kung and learn about the certification that we have coming up next weekend. And what we've done is we've put together an unbelievable group rate for everybody. We have taken our basic entry level into Tai Chi. We've whacked it right down the middle. And you can now get certified in this. And it's going to be actually one of the very few live certifications that my husband is going to be doing in a master hands-on setting at a local hotel down at the Marriott in Oldsmar uh, because we are getting ready down the road to do a few other different little things and we'll keep you updated on that. But if you've ever wanted to learn the art of Tai Chi and learn it from a grandmaster and have that master hands-on approach this is one that you will not want to miss out on. And what we do is we go ahead and have two days where you work directly with my husband and the other students that are learning to become instructors. And what's great about it is you get a chance to be right there and be critiqued and learn with everybody. We also have our professional certified instructor instructors come and help out, help to answer any questions. But you do get a workbook 
and you will get two DVDs, which is on our website. And on our website, it's $495 to get started with this. And we've been doing this for a long time with distant learning, where we send you the materials, and then you send us a, a video. Of course, now you can do YouTube and send us the video of yourself after you've learned the moves. There's a 20-question 20, 20 test, right? Right. And then you get a full-out professional Tai Chi certification that has actually been recognized through the Silver Sneakers program. It's recognized everywhere here that we, that we teach, obviously. And we're also giving nurses CEUs for this particular weekend at a very affordable price tag. So if you happen to be a nurse or if you know somebody that's a nurse, this is a great way to uh, you know, up their ante with their, their credits and everything. Well, the <coughs> other thing, too, you take one weekend and you can start a new career, mm -hmm. either part-time or full-time. We have full-time Tai Chi instructors that make a very good living. And the average Tai Chi instructor that has been certified and had passed all the tests <coughs> will make anywhere from $25 to $100 an hour, depending upon, you know, how you promote it. Mm -hmm. But I know that my rule of thumb, if I don't make at least $75 an hour, I'm not really teaching a, a class uh, in the right manner. In other words, I'm not really fulfilling the need like I should be. Because when you teach well, then your students will bring other students and you'll build a group. If you don't, if you're not certified and you're, not, and you're just teaching Tai Chi from a manual and not having any hands-on, then chances are you're not going to be able to make that kind of money. But the key thing is not how much money you can make. The key thing the successful Tai Chi instructors are the ones that are doing it not just for the money, but to help people because when you are teaching Tai Chi, you're adding years to that person's life and life to their years. In fact, right now, Tai Chi is mentioned as far as doctors are concerned. Doctors will <coughs> recommend Tai Chi more than any other form of exercise, Tai Chi and Qigong. They go together. And we have constant students come and say, when I tell my my doctor and I'm doing Tai Chi, he said, oh, keep that up, that's great. And, and that's almost every doctor now will recommend this as an exercise because it's safe, it's affordable, and it's something that actually will stimulate not only your hormones in a proper way, but also your attitude and everything because it's dealing with the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. I mean, being able to calm down, being able to relax, adds years to your life and life to yours. And also, when you're moving slow, you're strengthening the body a lot more than you think that you are. You know, since I've been doing the sinking movements, I mean, for 20 years now, since I've been with my husband, it's a sinking movement. I, can, I think that's why I was able to dance as much as I did, because I built those, my leg muscles are really, I mean, they're tight. And, you know, I'm going to be 70 here in just a few years. So. Well, people that practice Tai Chi and Qi Kung, <clears throat> especially Tai Chi for the legs, have tremendously strong legs. Mm -hmm. I was surprised when I'm at the gym when I do the pushing with the legs, that particular exercise we put a lot of weight on. I couldn't believe how much weight that I could push with my legs at my age especially. It's from the Tai Chi. It's from the Qi Kong. Yeah. I mean, I mean we the, get testimonials. I saw these young guys looking like, wow, that yeah. old man, well, look what he's doing. <laughs> and I wasn't doing it to show off. I was just, just was curious. Yeah. And I had quite a I wouldn't even say how much weight because you probably wouldn't believe me. But anyway. How much? 400 pounds I was pushing. You did? Yeah. With your legs? Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. I didn't know you were doing that. Well, I, I just don't talk about it. I just did it. I don't recommend doing that no. as a steady diet, Good but I just Lord. did it to, to, to see how much strength. Because uh -huh. I always felt I had plenty strong legs. Of course, the Taekwondo <laughs> helped too, mm -hmm. but the Tai Chi helped more than the Taekwondo. You know, speaking about the Taekwondo and the martial arts and everything, this is also my husband's secret for becoming a five-time world champion in full contact men's point karate. So if you guys are martial artists out there, guys and gals, this is really, truly one of the exercises that he's been doing for many, many years. Now, we only have about five minutes left. We have a sort of an abbreviated show here today. But I also wanted to mention that one of the things that we notice with the instructors that or instructors to be that we attract, a lot of them are already in the alternative healing modalities. We get massage therapists. We get nurses. 
We have, uh, we also have like Dr. Mary Kelly, who is an acupuncturist physician. And we have a lot of people that are out there in like Reiki, Reiki masters, are already in that particular genre. So this Tai Chi really adds to it. But we've also had students that have just taken the class and became an instructor, never intending to actually teach, but because of the in-depth knowledge, because the manual that you get, the information that you get, is so above and beyond delivered in, in a live, master hands-on setting, working with my husband. So if you ever wanted to add, you know, there's a lot of people looking to add another income stream to their family and wanting to get healthier and wanting an, an exercise that they can do. There's, there's a lot of people out there that can't do yoga. And if they're like me and they don't really like to go to the gym, but they want to get some effective exercise, the Tai Chi and the Qi Gong is truly the way to go. It's a perfect balance. You learn every single move. And what's great about our videos, our DVDs, I should say, is that they have been filmed in such a way so that my husband stands in front of a mirror and then you can stand in your family room and watch him from behind, but you get to see what he's doing in the front. So you get to see him all the way around. It was pretty brilliant to be able to do it that way. And it turned out really well. So you'll get two DVDs. You'll get the workbook. You have the 20 questions. You have my husband there and professional instructors along with myself to help guide you and answer any questions. And we have a lot of fun. It's not, it's not a real intense boot camp or anything like that. But in two days, believe it or not, you can be certified at the very first level. But what's great about my husband's program is that we have the other levels also. And when you have other levels to graduate to, then you can keep your students because we've noticed with other instructors out there not taking anything away from them, but they, they remain stuck with one level. And when their students are ready to move on to a next level and they haven't taken the next level because maybe they picked it up off the internet with, with this or that, uh, then you lose your students. So we go from the, the basic entry level with Tai Chi, the, with the foundation, then from there we go to the bronze, the silver, the gold, the master, and the grand master. All those levels are in my husband's program. program. So just go to dennis-kelly.com, and if you have any questions, you can email us, certainly, easy enough. In fact, uh, one of the shows that you'll see on there was my husband and I, and I think it was Chrisula, one of our instructors. Actually, I think it was a couple of our instructors. Watch that show because it was filmed right here in Tampa Bay Multimedia and right on WeBeam TV, and we had our, our, web, our web gentleman go ahead and put that on our site because we always had a dream to have our own TV show, and now we do, and it's on our website. I love getting my own way. How about you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, tell them, do I get it? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But, but one thing I want to mention. You got a minute. The high percentage of our students are seniors, of our instructors. I've certified hundreds of people in the last 25, 30 years. And I can tell you that the three quarters of those individuals I certified are past the age of 50. Yes. Yes. And you received a birthday card from uh, One of my oldest Jim. Teachers. And how old is he? He's 88, and he's been teaching for about 15 years. And 88. I certified him about 15 years ago, and he's going strong. 88 years of age. He teaches 10, 15 hours a week. Yeah. Well, you go he's over, remarkable. You go over to China, and you see... I mean, all the, all the older people that are out there moving so gracefully yep. and their balance is just so perfect. It is amazing. So hopefully we'll see you next weekend. And in the meantime, you can also go to dennis-kelly.com and see a little trailer on every single one of the videos that we have up there. So you can get an idea on how the DVDs are. Everybody's guaranteed to pass. So for $250, it is a great way to add an, a, another profession to what you're already doing or maybe an additional stream of income. But more importantly, it's a perfect way to give yourself and those around you the gift of health. And when we can go ahead and set that example for our friends and our relatives and just everybody we love, including you guys, then we know we've succeeded. So I want to thank you for joining us here today. I'll be back with you tomorrow for My Chamber TV on Tuesdays at 3.30, then again on Wednesdays at 3.30, and then back again on Primetime TV show next Monday. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless, and have a great week.